It's the Indianapolis Colts taking on the Arizona Cardinals. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Arizona Cardinals and the Indianapolis Colts. With my good friend Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we have arrived at another new season. Had a little more pep in my step this morning. <laughs> I know you did as well. Here we go. Yeah, when you went out for your five-mile jog, you were flying. You did it in record time because you were psyched up about this game. But let's be frank about it. No more radio shows. No more podcasts. No more just predicting what's going to happen. Now we get to see it on the field. This taken in about four yards deep. And no run back on this one. So the new season will begin at the 25-yard line. So out come the Cardinals now for their opening drive. They'll be led out by the number one overall pick in the 2019 draft from Oklahoma. It's Kyler Murray. And what I enjoyed in preparing for this game was talking not just with the coaching staff, but with him as well. And I found it interesting that the coaching staff sees him one way, and he sees himself in an entirely different way. Yeah, one thing he said he's always working on, he's, we know he's not bad at this, but his footwork always wants to improve that, and that's something he's going to focus on here. And what was so funny, what the offensive coordinator say right off the top, he's got great footwork. Love his footwork. So this guy is never satisfied. Give him three there on the first play of the game, and it's second down. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and Shotgun seven. now from Murray. Complete to the running back, Matt Breda. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. First down. And a nice start there to the aerial attack to pick up the first. And I think preseason is officially over now. Getting into the groove of the regular season, that's a great way to get started. First drive of the season, what a nice completion. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Three-yard pickup. Brings up second and seven. Here's the first carry for Kenyon Drake. And he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. Chubb on the tackle. Five yards on the play. And it's third down. On third and short, Drake. And eventually taken down, but how about that athletic spin move we saw? Gives him the first down yardage. The tackle made. Defense had a chance to get off the field here in the opening drive, couldn't do it. I know that we go into these meetings with coaches, and sometimes maybe we can get, you know, a little bit numb because they're always going to talk about how important third down is, aren't they? Offense and defense. In this case, one capitalized, and the other, as you said, had a chance to get off the field and didn't get it done. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. And now Murray's going to set up the throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Incomplete. It leads to second and ten. Back to the air on second down. It's Murray. This one caught by Isabella. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. That one a gain of 20 in a first down. That's a pretty throw right there. That ball's in the air a long time, but it's right on the money on the right sideline. A really good route. Moving the defenders towards the middle of the field before breaking to the sideline. What a completion there. Big time arm strength. Very nice route. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10, down at the 33. Now Murray. 
This one complete to Jordan Reed. A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. At the Colts, 27 yards. Again, they'll throw with Murray. And he'll go underneath here to Drake. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. This will be play number nine coming up on this relatively long opening drive as they look to convert on third down. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with Breida. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Had a chance to maybe limit them to three if they could have gotten that stop there, but a new set of downs. And with a new set of downs, you got to take the mentality of the whole thing. Right now, everyone's looking at the offense and saying they've got the advantage. The best defenses just say, okay, new set of downs gives us another chance to make a play ourselves and maybe change things up. First and ten, here's Murray. His throw incomplete. Christian Kirk, the man he was looking for. And that'll bring up second down. To throw again, Murray. Pass incomplete. Murray. So back-to-back -back incompletions. Third down here in 10, but you're still in field goal range. And that's the thing to keep in mind. They're in field goal range. So now you don't take any unnecessary risks, but you try and find a way to get back to what you were doing earlier in the drive in order to finish this one off. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area that they want him involved. Just as you said, they want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. Field goal coming from Young Way Koo. That's just a 35-yard attempt from the left hash. And his kick is right there. It's good. And the Cardinals have the first points. It's 3-0. Cardinals 3, Colts nothing. Well, all offseason, probably a lot of thought goes into that first drive of week one. They didn't get the touchdown, but at least they got something. And what I like about it is that they didn't overthink it. Because you're exactly right. A lot goes into the offseason, the preseason, to get to that first drive of the regular season. They went right downfield. Mission accomplished. Points on the board. So now the Colts will get their first opportunity with the football. And leading them out there, we get a look at their 6-3 quarterback. What I enjoyed this week is that you asked to talk to his offensive center before the game and find out a little bit more about him and what the relationship is. And that was a pretty positive story, wasn't it? Yeah, and really what I took away from that is just how it has permeated throughout the entire offensive line, the relationship they've had. It's really a group that's in sync. They care about him. That's the thing. They really care. And when you care that much, you're going to play that much harder for him and give him a better chance to lead the team to wins. Marlon Mack, his first carry of the game. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up 32. Makes it third and two. They'll try and run for this with Mack. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. That's good for a Colts. Third and two, right? So this is a situation where low man has got to win at the line of scrimmage. But it's not just the low man winning. It's the low man who's winning with some force. And they had that to pick up the first down. Barely picking it up, but they did. the 34 now. Here's first and 10. Now a run with Mack. They'll get about four as he's past the 35 to the 38-yard line. Tackle well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown, so a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Looking right side, and that's complete to Watkins. The pass. 
four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. It's a gain of four. Makes it third and two. They'll run it out of the gun with Mack. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. First downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. They'll get that one to Taylor complete. And he goes out of bounds and looks like right at the 50. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back, and it can turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. Pretty solid start for the rookie here on this first drive, Charles. Able to have some confidence, stepping back into the pocket, move around a little bit, find open receivers, and deliver. That just means his confidence is going to continue to grow because he's getting more and more comfortable with each completed pass. They'll run on first down with Marlon Mack. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Open man is Trey Burton. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Let's just make this one simple. Could he be any more open than he was on that play? Yeah, they lost him going to the outside. Hard to believe because you go through your accounting on each and every defensive snap. Who's got who? What, what defense you're in? That was totally a blown coverage. And he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. Solomon Thomas, they love to see that from him as he slips in for the sack. Well, how about that? A dime set on defense, six defensive backs. None of them blitz. They're just back there in coverage. Defensive lineman gets the sack. That's where the O-line, they go to the sideline, they keep their, their helmets on so the cameras can't find them, right? Yeah, the cameras can't find them, but I know one thing. The O-line coach will. On fourth down, Joseph Charlton on to punt. And this will be out of bounds at the what here? The 12-yard line. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people. The pro bowler, DeAndre Hopkins, the intended receiver. And it's third and short. And one yard to go.
Murray to give. This is Drake. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. Give him seven yards on the play as they do pick up the third down conversion. Just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us. That shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. I think we just saw an example of that there, didn't we? Important to do, especially early in the game like they have. Now on first down, on the slant, complete to Hopkins. Murray, and they're able to get this one across the 35. A gain of 10, first down, Arizona. Cardinal, first down. Out of the gun, here's Murray. Open man is Kirk, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Another nice gain, 16 yards there, and a first down again. Well, that certainly has to feel good. And it's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 46. Running out of the gun here, Brita. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Darius Leonard on the tackle. Four yards on the pickup. Out of the shotgun, Brita. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. Ball carrier. He was taken down by DeForest Buckner. Here's Breda. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. From the gun, Murray. That ball complete to Isabella. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Brings up second and three at the 26. Throwing again on second down, Murray. And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. It's third down. And on third down, Drake. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping the second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. He'll get forward for three down to the 16-yard line. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and now Drake. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. This defense is really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense going to have to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. The Cardinals on third down. They have been superb. Five for six to this point. This is third and seven. Operating from the gun, Murray. Buying time to his left. And able to get this down inside the 15 to either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. He'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up fourth down. And this one is right through. And they're able to double their lead in this first half. It's six to nothing. 
Bolts, nothing. Well, that will go down as a 15-play drive, and it results in three points. So, some disappointment? It's funny. We had our conference before the game with the offensive coordinator. And what did he tell us? I just want every drive to end in a kick, right? An extra point, a punt, or a field goal. Well, in this case, I think it is a little bit of a disappointment because they did end in a kick, but that type of a drive should end in the end zone. Second drive coming up here for the Indianapolis Colts. They are still in search of their first points in the ball game, but only down 6 nothing as they begin with a first down. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Incomplete. Coverage by Byron Murphy. On second down. It's Mack. And he'll get this one up to the 26. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. Four C incompletion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. And he's got his man, Hilton. And he's going to have a Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Give the Colts 13 yards and a first down. So he turned to a trusted, familiar face in that third down situation. It paid off. Yeah, you go to your veteran receiver in that spot, so you can't underestimate him when he's on the field defensively. Make sure you know where he is because he understands how to get open in key situations. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now Mack, and he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. 37-yard line. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. We remind you that coming up in two minutes, we'll again head down to visit with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando back for another year. He'll have scores from around the NFL here on this opening weekend. Sammy Watkins, the intended target, and it's third down. Buda Baker there on the coverage. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. He completes this one to Mack. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. A gain of nine, not enough, and it's fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked it down to force a fourth down? Here's Joseph Charlton now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. <laughs> 35 yards that time on the punt, and the Cards will take over first and 10. And now let's talk about Kenyon Drake, the passing game. They've had more success there than the running game. Maybe something they game plan for. How come they didn't tell us about it? Because they wanted to keep it a secret. <laughs> we did ask, didn't we? But I think what happened in this one is they've realized that they've established the run pretty well, and teams are going to key on that. They thought they could open it up and have success through the air, and that's exactly what's going on. Yeah, they've had success at least so far here in the second quarter. Seven yards, the pick up there. Looking to throw again on second down. Murray, he'll get this into the hands of Burita. He gets it forward for four, maybe five, but the flags fly. And this one could be coming back. You gotta be kidding me. So apparently some grabbing of the jersey there on the O-line. Yeah, just look in the interior, and that's where the penalty occurred. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. And able to find Kirk complete. 
And he is going to have a Cardinals first down, and he'll have it by plenty as they're able to keep the drive alive on third and inches. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. First down, Murray. He's going to float this over the middle, deep. Thrown across his body, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Malik Hooker. And the return stops just a little bit shy of midfield at the 48-yard line. Murray. The good old cover three defense, partner. When you start playing football as a safety, that's the first thing you're taught. Middle of the field, be as deep as the deepest receiver in any zone, and break on the football when it's thrown, and pick it off just as we saw there. Indy set to go on offense once more. A new life now following the late turnover. Maybe a chance for points here before the break. Yeah, pretty nice situation they find themselves in because they're really maybe one completion away from giving their kicker a shot, and that gives them a chance to get some points up on the board. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Over the middle here, it's Hilton. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Looking left side for Watkins, and he's got it. Sammy what? But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. This one into the hands of Burton. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. He dumps this off to Mack, and he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Four yards, the pickup, first down. To the end zone, but knocked away and incomplete. Sammy Watkins, the intended receiver, but it's going to be second down. It's second down and 10. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And they'll burn the timeout with five seconds left. A chance to try to add three points before heading to the locker room. Blankenship's kick is good. And they are on the board, trailing now six to three. Six. Oh, three. So, yes, they'll still be down going into intermission, but the deficit is now made even smaller, very manageable. Yeah, and if nothing haywire happens here in his last couple of precious seconds, they will go into the locker room with a nice bounce in their step, having gotten a little bit closer on the scoreboard. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome back to football, everybody. We've got a full slate of 16 games here to start the new season. So let's take our first trip around the NFL. We'll get started up at Paul Brown Stadium in Cincinnati. And those two are tied up as they play the second quarter. From Chicago, we head north to the home of their rivals as we check on the Packers at home in Lambeau. And they were losers in that ball game to the visiting Cleveland Browns. Baker Mayfield with three touchdown passes in the week one victory. In the game you're watching, it was the former number one overall selection Tyler Murray, who put on an absolute show. His guys lead, though by only a field goal. Still anybody's game. 
as we send it back to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. Rodgers on the return. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The Colts take over first and 10. At Out the come the Colts. Three. They'll have it first here to start quarter number three. And with the way this offense has played thus far, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally because they've done all of nothing offensively in this game, yet they still find themselves in a position on this drive where a touchdown can give them the lead. They need to take advantage of it. And they're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter. All they have so far, the field goal. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. He'll look to throw, and nearly picked off there, and it would have been a great time for their first pick. Instead, it's second down. A lot of times, it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Line of scrimmage, again the 37, as they line up second and 10. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked up by Deion Jones, the linebacker. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. The first half did not go their way, and that's not going to help matters at all. An interception here on the opening drive of the third quarter. Obviously not what they were striving to accomplish. But you know who's really upset on their team? The defense. Already trailing. They're going to be counted on to try and hold that score at least where it is. First down, Drake. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. The tackle made at the 36-yard line. Shotgun now for Murray. Oh, and this ball's tipped and intercepted. Picked up by Corey Willis. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. The Colts set to take over here offensively. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. Take off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Buda Baker there on the coverage. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Isaiah Simmons there defensively. On third down, he'll drop to throw. He's got his tight end, Burton. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 27 yards there on a very nice third down conversion. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Out of the gun, here's a give to Mack. Not much there, maybe a couple up to the 35. The last run good for two, here's second and eight. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. He'll rifle this one deep right side, and that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on, third down. Normally you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well, incomplete. 
So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. He's going to take another shot here. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there. That brings up fourth. They said they had the right read on that one. The weak spot in a cover two defense, right down the middle because it really stresses the safeties. And they're going to be a little bit frustrated. They weren't able to connect on that one. It's a 45-yard punt, but a decent return there of nine yards. And possession will switch hands first and ten. The football going back over to Arizona now. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take... And now off to the races, down the right side. Touchdown, Cardinals. Christian Kirk, 73 yards. And the Cardinals push further out in front. Well, they had their chances in the first half, you remember, but had to settle for two field goals. This time, they come away with six. I think they actually got affirmation about what they were doing by getting a touchdown because the field goals means they got in range but couldn't quite finish it off. This time, they broke through, and that's great for the old confidence. And on the sideline, difference of a feeling between three and six, is it astronomical or it, no? It, it, it can be at times, that's for sure. A lot of times, the field goal feels like a disappointment. The touchdown, well, that tells you you're getting it done. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. That'll be taken about a yard deep. They had tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. And the Colts getting ready to go. They trail by 10, 13-3 as they come up on a first and 10. They begin the drive on the ground with Mack. He'll get about three as he's taken down at the 23. Now second and seven from the 23. Down by Chandler Jones. A three-yard pickup brings up second and seven at the 23-yard line. They keep it on the ground. Mack again. And he's able to get out to the 32 brought down there. That was a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. On the ground, it's Mac. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. It was Damon Harrison on the stop. They'll run with Mack. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. They give him about four on the play, but he's marked short, so it'll be third and about the length of the football. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize the strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Taylor. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Something to watch here in week one of the season, tackling. Because you and I both know that in the preseason, a lot of these guys don't play a whole lot. Plus, the intensity and the speed really ratchets up on opening week. The last run got six, now second and four. Go. 
Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals 37. That one for Indianapolis, resulting in 15 yards and a fresh set of downs. Now what we're seeing, this is much better from this offense because so far in this game, no touchdown to this point. And what's usually a direct correlation, very few explosive plays. That's been their issue, not able to make that big shot downfield or break one off, but a nice game there for a first down. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. I know at times people think we use it too often, but you've got to be able to throw guys open. And when you read zone, you've got to stick it in there before your receiver gets to the next guy in the zone. Otherwise, you bring him into the play. And that's precisely what allowed that defense to disrupt the pass. Over the middle, he's got Watkins. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Fired that one in there. Able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defense side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and ten. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. Trey Burton, the one he was looking for. And that'll bring up second down. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating the defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage. Able to knock that one away. Baker there on the coverage. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And yeah, that will be incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third. And now they deal with fourth down. I like what they tried to do there. Tried to hit him with something quick, get the ball in his hands, and hope he can make some yards after the catch and pick up a first down. Weren't able to do so on that play. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. From the left hash, this from 37. 37-yard attempt. Blankenship's kick is good. And they will cut the lead back down to a touchdown now at 13-6. to 6. 6 So they get the field goal, but that was a 14-play drive to get through it's like you're going negative on me. I was. Partner. I was. Sounds like, sounds like you're thinking the three is just not that good. When people say that we're negative sometimes. <laughs> so. Well, here's the deal. Getting the three is good. Obviously, you would think on a 14-point drive you're going to get six out of it. But that type of a drive can pay dividends later on because you might wear the defense down. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. He'll look to throw right away. And he finds the tight end, Reed. And yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Brings up second and one at the 34-yard line. On second down now. It's Drake, and he'll be brought down right around the 37. He's brought Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Gain of three on the play. First down, Cardinals. They'll run with Drake. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. One yard gain. Brings up second and nine. Now it's Breda. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And nothing but daylight ahead. Touchdown, Cardinals. Matt Breda, the ball carrier. Matt Breda, 62 yards. And the Cardinals now adding on to their lead. 
Well, I guess when you look back on it, it was just a matter of time until he popped a big one like that. And, you know, at halftime, you and I discussed it. They had done a nice job on him in the first half. But there were a couple of occasions where it felt like he might wiggle out of traffic and take it to the house. Finally here in the second half, that got done. Coup for the extra point. For the point after. And the lead is up to 14. The drive summary, four plays, 75 yards. And it was Matt Breida who had the touchdown run to put an end to it. Young Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. Rodgers on the return. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The Colts take over first and 10 at their own 23. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. A gain of two brings up second and eight. We are through three quarters here on NFL Kickoff Weekend. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Here's second and eight. Over the middle complete. That's Watkins. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 15 yards on the play, first down. Fourth quarter, every drive so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You've got the first one for the second one to even matter. to throw here on first down. And he delivers a strike complete to Watkins. The pass. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Now the throw here complete on the right sideline. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. 12 yards there and a first down. First and 10 at the 40-yard line. Again, he'll drop to throw. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. The safety, Buda Baker, there to force the incompletion. Buda Baker there on the coverage. And now a throw here secured by his running back out of the backfield. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. The Colts on third down. Well, they've converted seven times and could use another right now. This is third and four. They'll look to throw again. Hits his target to tight end Mo Alley Cox. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Give the Colts 13 yards and a first down. And a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. throw now on first down Campbell making the catch and he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14 yard line Complete. that was the eighth play of the drive so a somewhat fitting pickup of eight yards second and two at the Cardinals 14 yard line a 
facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. A 14-yard touchdown. And the Colts have got it back to a one-score game. I wonder if he changed anything on his play sheet or they just executed better. Because they had two previous drives that ended in field goals. Before this one, they finally were able to put into the end zone. Well, whatever he did, speaking of the offensive coordinator, might be using that formula going forward. It worked there. Yeah, it worked very well. He and his field general in pretty good sync right now. They're starting to move the ball well. It's up and good, a seven-point margin. It's 20 to 13 now. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And the result for the Colts is a touchdown. So after the touchdown, here's Blankenship kicking off. On the return, Andy Isabella. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Isabella on the return. The Cardinals take over first and 10. The Cardinal offense now making their way back out onto the field. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. Drake will start the drive on the ground. He takes this for three to the 29. And Drake, the ball carry. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. I'm sure that that's going to be the formula. Just keep the ball on the ground. Keep that clock moving. And when you have the lead this late in the game, above all, stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage, but stay in bounds and let that clock tick. Third and two, and here's Murray. And able to find Kirk complete. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as this defense unable to hold. It's a seven-yard gain there on third and two. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. Just week one, but already plenty of intrigue with the games going on, and this one no different as we come up on a first and ten. Running, it's Drake. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. Kenyon Drake on the That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. A gain of a yard. Brings up second and nine. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Out of the gun. Here's Murray. He's going to go for a big play downfield. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. It's the former Seahawk, Richard Sherman. A seismic shift in momentum here in the fourth quarter. That's the break that the defense needed. And you know as well as I do, people are going to question the play call in that situation. Sometimes you have to question the execution, not necessarily the call. And in this case, those defenders found a way to give their team a chance. Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. The interception sets them up with an opportunity to erase this fourth quarter deficit. And this series could very well determine our outcome. A run by Mack to start the drive. And he stopped immediately there. It's the Pro Bowler Chandler Jones who makes the tackle. No gain on the play. They go right back to Mack. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. From deep in their own territory, they look to throw. He's got Burton here. The pass. And he's able to get this one up to the eight-yard line this time. 
One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. The Colts send out their punter as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. They call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And the Cardinals, great field position to start this drive as they take over first and 10. A fourth quarter score, meanwhile, from Kansas City. Now you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. A win would be their second on the young season. On first down, here's Breida. And he'll get this into enemy territory, but not by much, as he's down to the 48. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. DeAndre Hopkins! He's all alone. Touchdown, Cardinals. DeAndre Hopkins, 48 yards. And the Cardinals will extend their lead. now for the point after for the point after and the lead is up to 14 the kick is good makes this score pretty clean and simple there just two plays the long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two young way Koos. following the touchdown here's Koo to kick off That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. So the Colts now down on the scoreboard. And time, a huge factor. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Looking left side for Watkins, and he's got it. The pass. A gain of six there on first. Now the Colts moving quickly here in the hurry-up offense. A short throw. This is caught by Cox. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. They'll look to throw now on first down. He dumps this off to Mack. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Counting down toward a minute to go in this football game. This one into the hands of Burton. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 43. Another good reception there. The Colts on the march. He completes this one to Mack. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. A gain of four. It's now second and six. Throwing middle, and it's complete. Fair. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 28. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in this football game. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Dumps this one off to Mack. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 22 ticks to go in the fourth. This is caught. Watkins. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Line of scrimmage, the nine. Second and about a yard. This will be caught at about the six. Zach Pascal. That's good for a Colt. One final shot. They'll look to throw. This will be caught at about the six. 
And the stop will come inside the five at the four. So it's a win here for the Arizona Cardinals. And partner, I must say, good to see you again. Been too long. And it's good to have football back, isn't it? Didn't you see me in preseason? Weren't we together in preseason? Yeah, but preseason, you know, it's preseason. This is week one. Oh, you're trying to say real football. Yeah, real football. Not preseason football yeah. where we shake down the rosters and figure out who's going to play and maybe the starters don't play as much. Now it's the front line guys from the first whistle. Yeah, I tuned you out in the preseason. <laughs> and now I'm listening to you. So for the cards, hey, you get a win, you get it on the road. You can't ask for much more than that to start the year. And they'll have another road day next week with the Los Angeles Rams. Meanwhile, for the Colts, they obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves next week at home against San Francisco. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long from Indy.